is it on? You can really see my mustache here. <laughs> Hello people of the interwebs, welcome back. My name is Kayla, if you didn't know that, hi. Usually, we all get things stuck in our head. Music, lyrics, TV shows, movies. And for the past two weeks, I have had a specific movie stuck in my head all day, every day, 24 seven, nonstop. When I tell you like 24 seven, like I mean literally 24 seven. It's, it's, I, I even, I even had a dream about it last night. Like, all the time. The movie that has been stuck in my head is Encanto by Disney. Now, you can find this movie on Disney Plus, and when I say the movie's been stuck in my head, I really mean the songs, because the songs are amazing. Also, if you're on TikTok, some of the trending sounds on TikTok, or just popular sounds, are from that movie. And so you might have heard it, you might have heard of it, seen the trailer, or watched the movie. But anyway, because this movie has been so stuck in my head lately, I've decided that I'm gonna come on here and just do a little video and my own little personal review of the movie. But I'm gonna tell you some things that I liked about it, I'm gonna tell you some things that I didn't really like about it, and then I'll let you know if I think it's worth it to watch it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna put any spoilers in this video, just in case you end wanna end up watching it. Encanto is based on a story of a family, and this family lives in this this little magical town. The grandma, it shows you when the grandma was young, she had kids, and her city, her town, and the people, they, let's say it's under attack, and so they run from the attackers, and this magic candle sort of appears, and in, in the space that they ran to, the hills kind of rise, and so that's like the magic town that they're now living in. They also live in a magic castle, and they call it Casita. It's really cute because the castle can like talk to the the people who are living in the castle. They can talk to them, and it like moves, um, and it like communicates. It's really cute. And so anyway, they live in this magic little town that is now protecting them. There's a couple of generations have passed, and now you see the whole family. It was Family Madrigal, which is one of the songs in the movie. And so the movie is centered around the main character, who is part of the family. Her name is Maribel. Everyone else in the family, including Maribel's um, cousins and her siblings, they all have this magical gift. For example, one of her siblings is really, really strong. Another one of her siblings can like grow flowers everywhere. She's kind of known as like the perfect girl or the golden girl. Uh, one of her cousins can talk to animals. So everyone has this gift, except for Maribel. And throughout the story, it's just her trying to figure out why she doesn't have this gift. And I'm not going to give a lot of detail in case you want to watch it, but she tries to um, look for a missing family member that could help her answer these questions. Their town, that's magic, um, they're noticing that the magic is now dying. And so Maribel is the one who goes and tries to find out why she wants to protect her family. and. It's just really cute. <laughs> it's a cute movie. So that's sort of the whole basis, like a summary of the story of the movie. Um, and I thought the movie was really cute. I love the songs. The songs are fire. I listen to the songs all the time. Not only in English, but in Spanish too. Like, they're all amazing. And I found out after that Lin-Manuel Miranda is the one who wrote the songs for Encanto. I think he wrote most of them, but when I found that out, I was like, that's why they're so amazing. Like, he wrote them, the one and only. Um, and so the songs are great. I literally sing them in my head all the time, and out loud, all the time, around the house, just doing whatever. And one of the songs, especially, called We Don't Talk About Bruno, is always replaying in my head over and over again. If I'm studying, I'm like, I'm not studying what I, whatever I'm doing. I'm just like, we don't talk about Bruno, no, no. <laughs> Like, the whole time. Give me a second while I drink some water. <sighs> Delicious! Stay hydrated! So, the things that I liked about it is that it's a really cute movie. I like the concept, the idea of this little magical town and like this family who has these gifts. However, <laughs> I did think that the movie was a little bit rushed. Um, the, the background context that they give about the magic and the like how the magic started, 
they don't really give you that much information about it. And I know like, you're not supposed to know everything, but I feel like they could have added a lot more. Um, and then in the end, you know, you sort of figure out what happens. You figure out why the magic was dying and Maribel also figures out what her gift is. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I think the ending was also rushed, just a little bit. I feel like the concept of the story is is really cute. It's a cool idea. It's it, The movie was adorable, but it felt rushed. I felt like they were just kind of like, hey, <laughs> I have an idea. Let's write it, let's do the songs, and let's like put it out there. Um, and so that's probably my only issue with the movie, the thing that I just didn't really like that much is that it was just kind of rushed, you know. Um, but it is really cute, you know, it has a cute message and the songs are amazing. Um, and I I think it's it's great, like for any age. I think it's like an adorable little movie. So I think I'd give this movie like a solid 7.5 out of 10. Like it's it's good, you know. It was rushed, I think, but it's good, it's adorable. I think if you have some free time and you want to just kind of watch something, or if you have kids, I really recommend watching it with your kids. Um, I think they'd love it too. And you know, I think it's just a cute little movie that, you know, you should, you should try it out. You can watch the trailer and see for yourself, or you could listen to the song, We Don't Talk About Bruno. If you like the song, watch the movie, <laughs> because it's really good. <laughs> All the other songs are great too, but We Don't Talk About Bruno is my favorite song. Is it worth it to watch the movie? I would say yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah. 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 <laughs> I would say like, if you have free time, watch it. If you have kids, watch it. Watch the trailer, see what you think. But I think it's amazing. I'm just, the songs are always stuck in my head all the time. It's, you know, great. <laughs> that was my little review of Encanto. Go watch the trailer. Go watch the movie. Go listen to the songs. They're amazing. They're great. The movie's really cute. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any movie suggestions. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And I will see you next time. Bye! Okay, great. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, we don't talk about Bruno.